Alright, first and foremost, we like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders that do rule with a great millstone. Peace and salutation to the Akia Mother pushing his gospel in sincerity and truth. So shalom to the humble and sincere sisters out there as well. Which is the brothers from the GMS Strand Camp come to push the true doctrine, the true words of, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Now we will title this lesson. His people shall inherit all things. The Most High people, children of Israel, are going to inherit all things. Daisy Woods are promise. When we get Revelation 21 to 7. Revelation chapter 21, verse 7. So he that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his power, and he shall be my son. Yeah, so we have our we have our little task. You know it to, to, to go through. Right, this, this, this little, this light affliction, you know, we had to enjoy, right? Wherever had to come, you know, it to us, you know, we, we just had to go through. We feet are your basham, even, even if, even if death come, we gonna find life in death, because what was, what was promised, the Lord gonna keep His promise. The Lord say He's not slack, as men come slackness, right? So the promise say, the Lord say. He gonna give us the kingdom. We shall inherit all things. This is the promise of Yahweh Basham Hashem, right? And this is what gonna be done. Just by you keeping faith in Yahweh Basham Hashem, you gonna have things way beyond your desire. Even even in this flesh, when a man work hard, you know, when he build a house, you know, he start a family, all these things, you know, he feels some. So you know a, a goodness, although he, he, he can't inherit it forever, which that is real joy to inherit yeah. something forever, you know. But for the little thing we had now, where we could in, in, enjoy, hey, you're gonna be enjoying that forever in the kingdom. Riches beyond your your measure. Right? Infinite wealth, infinite life, no more sickness, no more death, no more sorrow, no more pain as your shy see in Revelation 21. This is what will be added to you. Just by keeping feet in your Basham Yashai and enjoying. Come. Till the end. Yeah, Come and righteousness. As Paul has said, he know what is laid up for him. He know what is laid up for him. Come and righteousness. You know why he know that? Because days he thinks your Shai promise and he know his Lord is not a liar. Come. He know days where he's going to receive just by doing this work. Right, good. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3, verse 2. It says, In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, and their departure is taken for misery, and they are going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. Yet, yet their hope is full of immortality. So they might say, But well, yeah, he's serving God, but he's dead. Come. Yeah, wicked man, he's dead. Die in the sight of the unwise. <laughs> But what did the Lord have reserved for that man? Come. Eh? Immortality. Because he, them watching it alright, them watch it like if he served the Lord and it didn't do him no good, he did. But they realize that he now finished his course. You understand? That he don't have to fight no more. Like he done fight. Like he literally accomplished his mission. You understand? And he now going back to base. Waiting to reap the benefits that we now do. That literally men that die in this truth. And they die serving our Bashem Yahushai. They finished their course. They literally <coughs> did what they came to do. And then the Lord took them. And that and that is one perspective. And our next perspective could be the Lord show them mercy. That they don't have to live in the times to come. Because these people are watching and say, look he dead. They're going to wish that they die too. You understand? With the, the, the type of hell that they're going to have to face in these times to come, the kind of things they're going to have to witness and experience, they are going to wish that they had died with him. You understand? But they, as, as you better say, to the unwise, they, they can't see it. All they're thinking is that he did. You know, and that is the day. No, that he had peace. The Lord take him. You know, he finished his course and the Lord 
preserve him and pre and, and remove him from that, that that great tribulation to come. And the revelation eight seventeen. Eight seventeen. Eighteen. Revelation eight seventeen. Oh, so Romans eight. Oh, Romans okay. eight. Romans eight. Seventeen. Book of Romans chapter eight verse seventeen. And if children, then heirs, heirs of power, and joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. We're gonna be revealing us. Right? As as you know it. Because my son, your son, you know, he, he said, when you're about to kill, he's dead. But what were you going to receive? Come. Immortality. <laughs> right? So, we suffer today for a better tomorrow. Come. You know, I was watching a, a, a little survey a guy was doing, he saying, a um, hundred thousand now? <laughs> oh, Can. a million in, 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 in a year. Jake boy no. <laughs> Jake boy hundred thousand no. He don't want to make the, the million. No. He boy no for no. Right? Mm. But they know the Lord as well. You had a good shirt. You had a good shirt. You had a, you had a suffer. The, hey, the old Lord suffer. You were shy when shirt and what will you receive? <laughs> what what the glory you receive? Right? Are we gonna be the same thing? The Lord gonna raise us up. Right? We gonna rule these nations. Right? We just had a good through this. Right? The Revelation 2 verse 26. Revelation chapter 2 verse 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter Shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father? Can so he that overcomes, so don't fool anyway, you're gonna receive this just so. Right? You have a task to do. Right? Okay. That things must be done. For money, who will we go be eat? Right? So it has things to be done. Right? He that overcometh and go through these trials, go through the little pain, the light affliction, you're gonna receive something. Hey, un un unbelievable to your yeah. eyes. What you might be looking for? Hey, it's gonna be hey, a hundredfold. Come. Our precept here. One second is just. Let's start at second is just two verse forty two. It says, "I Ezra saw upon the Mount Zion a great people, whom I could not number." And they all praised the Lord with songs, and in the midst of them there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest, and upon every one of their heads he set crowns, and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So then I asked the angel, and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they, that have put off the mortal clothing, and put on the immortal, and have confessed the name of power, now are they crowned and received palms. And said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowned them, and giveth them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, It is the son of power, whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Alright. Um when you look up when you look at the word um stiffly, where it says stand fast. When I was in cadets, that was a command. So let me say we stand at attention, whatever you're doing. And the commander shout stand fast. What stand fast means to stand still and stand strong and stand boldly. Alright, so he would say stand fast and he would leave. The sun could be boiling, rain could be pouring. Whatever going on around we, we are supposed to flinch. A fly could land on you. You can't, you, you can't. anytime you flinch, you feel. You understand? 
Anytime you flinch your feel and you're gonna get punished. That was stand fast meaning. To, to literally stand stay put. No matter what situation. So when it's saying here, he began to commend them that stood stiffly for the name of the Lord. That is what it means. That nothing was able to shake them. Nothing was able to throw them off. You understand? Nothing was able to cause them to turn away from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Absolutely nothing. You understand? That was if it was possible, they would deceive the very elect. But it's not possible. It is impossible to deceive the elect because of the, the, the spirit that is within them. And you realize they, they receive they receive a crown. I read Paul talk about you know the men in this world that strive for a corruptible crown, but we are incorruptible. Because they strive, you know, they the rewards that they get is is temporal. But when that crown come upon our heads, it will never come off. You, you will not nobody are coming to take we throne, you understand? Nobody's coming to besiege Israel and, and take us captive and take we take we throne and take we crown from the moment. From the moment the ceremony taking place and that crown come upon your head, you are going to be a king forever. You understand? And you're going to have, your kingdom is going to stand forever too. Right? That that is what we'll fight. That is what we're fighting for. Mm -hmm. ah. Mm -hmm. And this is showing what the kind of power, the kind of God Israel have. A merciful power, power oh. of love, a power of balance. Right, and yet Israel unthankful and ungrateful, and they to show Israel so foolish. Right, we have a, a, a God of such great things that He have in store for His people, and yet Israel giving their glory unto another. Right, yeah, Psalms one forty four fifteen. All these things, what should the Lord eh? What should the Lord gonna give you? You're gonna be a king forever. You're gonna have your own kingdom. Servants, riches beyond measure, immortality. To rule over your enemy, to serve your heart bash from your shine. Without wavering. To keep your law and statutes and commandments. Perfect. Out of this out of, out of prison. That is a beautiful thing. Okay. Psalms 144 verse 15. Happy is that people that is in such a case. Yea, happy is that people whose power is, is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Yeah, happy is that people who God is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai that is going to give you these things. Okay. Once you keep and enjoy and keep it saved until the end, you are going to receive the crown of life. Right? You're gonna receive it all and in second Ezra in two. Let's go to ten. Second Ezra two ten. We don't get to it was in that just now. Second Ezra chapter two verse ten. Thus said the Lord unto Ezra, Tell my people that I will give them the kingdom of Jerusalem, which I would have given unto Israel. Their glory also will I take unto me. And give these the everlasting tabernacles which I had prepared for them. They shall have the tree of life for an ointment of sweet savour. They shall neither labour nor be weary. Yeah. You ain't gotta go through we were going through now, you ain't gotta go through them things. Okay. You ain't gotta be burning up in the sun to work for minimum wage while your oppressor doesn't increasing in wealth? No. It it it, it, it the, the script gonna flip as the script say the plowman shall overtake the reaper. Okay. Right? The Lord gonna flip it. All these curses were upon us. The Lord say he's gonna put these curses upon our enemies because okay. he doesn't do to run me 30. Okay. He's gonna bring these curses upon our enemies. Mm. They're gonna be the tail. We gonna be the heads. And they're gonna be forever. Because these nation rulership is temporal. It have an end. Okay. But our reign, that our rulership gonna be forever. That is what we're looking for. A new heaven, new rulership. And it's gonna come. Can I read verse 13 it says, Go, now you shall receive. 
pray for a few days unto you that they may be shortened. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. So I just show you, it's not like hey, the Lord say, well, do this and you know, we go see what what, 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 what will happen in the end. Okay, you know, some men does, does, does talk like that. They then again, you have a sure promise. You know, well, do the work whatever and then you know, we go work out the payment after. That the Lord is moving so. The kingdom is already been prepared. Everything that we're working for is it, it already there. That the promise, like, oh, and you could read, if it will be, we could read it right here. You know, you could read of the promises for Israel. Everything done set in It's just for we to, you know, go after it. All right, the kingdom, the bodies, the, the, these other planets, or every, everything done established. Yeah, the sun is just for us to walk into it. You know? Okay. No, with that, I hope it was really fine. We like to give all praises and glory unto the Heavenly Father. Yeah, how? Bashami, how was shy? Bashami, Kakadash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Stone as well. Peace and salutation to the Akiyam, the Mauli, pushing the gospel in sincerity and truth. This is Brother Quara. Brother Kalam. Shalom. Shalom.